All right, check this out. This is the GNS3 interface, and it's basically a front-end graphical um, application that ties in three applications together to make a pretty potentially good program. Now, I say potentially because I haven't really explored everything that you can do, but one of the things I want to show you that I thought was pretty impressive is not only can you just design network diagrams and you know like a, any other simulator um, it uses hardware emulation and runs the actual Iowa software but what I found pretty interesting is that not only can you do that but you can also connect this uh, interface this topology to an existing network and that's what I'm going to show you uh, today basically I have a uh, Cisco lab at home that I use to tinker with things and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a router to my existing real network and see how that interoperates. So to do that um, with this program it makes it very easy because it's pretty much just drag and drop on everything. Um, so what we do is we select the iOS image that we want to boot from and we'll choose the 2900 series one here uh, let's do uh, this guy here and this one actually supports the Cisco call manager express so we have to bump up the RAM and that's actually one thing I don't know how to do on here is upgrade the flash um, so if you know how to upgrade the flash please let me know because then you can do some more cool things but right now I'm just going to set up a basic configuration so we've got the iOS selected close that and now we can bring the 2600 into the topology area here and this is the part where most people I think would be you know adding you know their switches if they want to do frame relays other routers and build their topology and test the connectivity between here and everything and I think it would work really well for that but what I want to show um, or the objective I'm trying to show here is that not only can you do all that but you can actually make this router part of an existing network um, this is just this will be just like a small version so in order to do that what you do is you drag the cloud over and double click on it go to node configuration and select the uh, your NIC adapter that you're going to be using. Um, in this case I'm using the local area connection because that is directly connected to a switch port in the lab. So I just select that and hit add and OK. Now we just need to connect them so you just use this little cable button gives you different types of cables to use. I'll just say fast ethernet and go from uh, router 0 to the cloud and connect it here with the network interface card on my laptop then you just hit that little play icon there to start the emulation and you should get two green dots like that and now you can console into it so this is simulating a console into the router so it's booting the actual iOS image um, I think it changes the some type of ROM memory or something uh, right here OIMEM IO memory that doesn't happen on real routers but uh, once it gets to this screen this is more like a real router and this is what I'm talking about right here with the 8 megs uh, so if you know how to increase that value please let me know but otherwise um, you'll get the system di uh, configuration dialog which I don't think I've met anybody ever that actually uses this thing. So we'll just say no. And now on my uh, real router I have um, I have it on a 192.168.1.0 network so what I'll do is I'll make this machine or this fake router actually let's call it that fake router um, and it uh, will give this an IP address um, of the same subnet so if we go interface FA00 IP address we'll say 192.168.1.23 
Get a class C subnet mask and no shutdown. And that should bring the interface up. And once it comes up, you can try to ping the 192.1.1. And usually it uh, times out the first time. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is something to do with the general configuration. Um, so if you know what that is, please let me know too. <laughs> um, but anyway, I may be able to ping it. So let's telnet to it. Oops. And uh, from here, for example, do a show CDP neighbor, see what's connected. <clears throat> we have a 2621, or that that is the 2621, and it's connected to the 2924, and it also has the um, access server 2511 uh, for console access connected. <clears throat> so if we do, let's say, show IP protocols, uh, we can see that EIGRP is running. It's broadcasting these networks. Uh, has a number of neighbors. Um, and you can see the route tables. There's quite a few route tables there. So if we jump back to our fake router here, show IP route, we just have one route right now. Um, so what we can do, <clears throat> oh, and there's, that's another thing, is, is there's no 10 network addresses on here. So let, let's add one on the fake router. So let's go to, uh, let's make a loopback interface. And we'll just give it, say, 10.10.10.1 for the IP address and then uh, we'll do go to router EIGRP10 and let's broadcast the networks and see it's now building the neighbor adjacencies. So with that, oops, if I uh, do show IP route now, look at all the routes. And um, so let's, let's go to the back to router A and if we do show IP route, you now have the 10 address via the 192.168.1.23 which is the fake router that we set up. Um, so, oh, and then and that's another thing is I can use this same IP, um, default route because it has a route for it now due to EIGRP. So if we just add a, uh, a route, a default route real quick, this is on the uh, fake router. You can now ping out to the public internet from the fake router, and it has all the functionality of the, this is the topology. It's this router connected to an existing environment, and again, it has, but yet it has all these different routes and uh, connections to all these different um, pieces of equipment. But it's it's uh, emulating the hardware. So I just thought that was pretty interesting. Obviously, I think it has a lot of potential. Um, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about this, but I think it's cool that I've just added this 2600 router to my existing network uh, just with a few clicks and a couple configuration commands. So um, you can pick this up at uh, gns3.net and uh, hopefully, you know, CCNA studies, it's a good way to practice or um, even if you just have one router and you want two and you know, talk between them. It, it's pretty, pretty powerful, from at least from the little bit I played with it.